Good morning everyone, my name is Gino Delias and we're here in front of your screen to discuss about major development programs, specialities in science and, te science and technology in the Philippines. So let's begin. The learning objective for this topic is that a student must learn the following. Development and Thermal Scanner, COVID-19 Operation Center Monitoring System for LGU, Science and Technology Experts Volunteer Pool Program, AI-based detection of social distancing violation from CCTV, regional standard and testing laboratory, virtual classroom, biomedical machine, solar energy, national integrated basic research agenda or NIBRA, the HNRDA 2017-22, and Ambition Natin 2020-40. So, let's begin from Thermal Scanner. Hi everyone, my name is Wens Aaron Otueres. I will report about major science and technology development in the Philippines. So first, the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. So we all know what DOST is. DOST is the primary science and technology body in the country charged with the twin mandate of providing central direction, leadership and coordinations of all scientific and technological activities and of formulating policies, programs, and projects to support national development. As a Research and Development Institute or IDI of the Department of Science and Technology or DOST, the DOST Advanced Science and Technology Institute or DOST ST was up to the challenge to continuously provide quality R&D initiatives and service to its partners and stakeholders. Despite the implementations of all alternatives, work arrangements, or AWA, that the productivity at DOST ASTI remained efficient. For the past year, DOST ASTI had been progressive in supporting, partnering, and even spearheading activities and initiatives concerning COVID 19 through its R&D projects, services, and facilities. So one of the first projects of DST is development of thermal scanner. DST ST has developed thermal scanner that use a medical grade sensor for use by COVID-19 frontliners. The first type was the modified wood moisture meter retrofitted with a thermal sensor and existing product co-developed with DST Forest Products Research and Development Institute or DOST FBRID and Alexan. The other two types are small services that can be attached to smartphones using typical wear interfaces or with wireless or Bluetooth interfaces. Thermals is really important to us because these days we experience global pandemic and one of the causes of the virus was having a high temperature of the body. It is necessarily helps to slow the spread of coronavirus. Next, COVID-19 Operation Center Monitoring System for LGU. The option monitoring platforms is a contact tracing system and data platforms developed to illustrate the interaction between confirmed patients, poise and pumps up to barangay level. It is also provide prescriptive information on areas within frequent cases via location history. The site services as a central repository of information for consolidations from different sources. As of February 2021, the DOST-ST de deployed the Cebu City Offsend dashboard. Now, it is easier and more accurate to monitor, update, and view data, while avoiding delay in data acquisition for Cebu City LGU. Contact tracings is necessary. It is the process of identifications of persons who may have come into contact with an infected person and subsequent collection of further information about these contacts. Next, AI-based detections of social distancing violations from CCTV. As of November 2020, the DOSTSD finished develop a system that automatically flags social distancing violations from CCTV feeds. The DOSTSD has also conducted several online technologies transfer webinars 
and collaborations with different DOST regional office and universities to introduce ASTI, develop technologies ready for adoption. Online events were also streamed to connect with public and update about current innovations in R&D. Aside from all of these efforts by DOST ASTI, several of its ongoing and new continue to be focused on by its researchers and staff to make sure that agency continues to stay true its vision, mission, and goals amidst the global pandemic caused by COVID-19. So, AI-based camera is developed for detecting and tracking people in indoor and outdoor scenarios. An algorithm is also implemented for measuring and classifying the distance between persons and to automatically check if social distancing rules are respected or not. Hence, this work aims at minimizing the, the spread of COVID-19 virus by evaluating if and how persons comply with social distancing rules. Regional Standards and Testing Laboratory The Regional Standards and Testing Laboratories, or RSTL, Davao, is a PNS ISO IEC 17025-2005 accredited testing laboratory for chemical, microbiological, and calibration testing certified by the Philippine Accreditation Office, or PAO. It offers microbiological and physiochemical testing for food and water. The laboratory also conducts calibration services for length, mass and big, and small volume and accepts shelf life testing and sensory evaluation. The regional laboratory is managed by the Department of Science and Technology, Region 11 and ISO 9001-2008, Accredited organization and recipient of level 1 recognition in the Philippine Quality Awards. Primarily serving food processing industry in Davao and nearby regions, RSTL Davao is also accredited by the Food and Drug Administration or FDA to handle the testing of food products. The laboratory also issues formula of conversion or FOC or certificate of formula of manufacture or CFM for importers and exporters. Technology Trainings DOST 11 provides technology training services to customers, particularly those intending to establish new technology-based enterprises, livelihood, or upgrade existing ones. This program involves the transfer of knowledge and or skills by tapping s and experts from various RDIs and counsels through any of a combination of the following processes. Technical lecture, demonstration, seminar, workshop, and forum. Technology transfer, small enterprise technology upgrading program. Purpose of the program. The Department of Science and Technology Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program, DOST Setup, is a nationwide strategy encouraging and assisting MSMEs to adopt technological innovations to improve their operations and increase their productivity and competitiveness. Science and Technology Experts Volunteer Pool Program or STEVPP under the Science and Technology Experts Volunteer Pool Program or STEVPP Experts will extend free assistance, training, seminars, workshops, and hands-on demonstration to NGOs, co cooperatives, and other interested parties in the countryside. Virtual classrooms are online modules which gives every participant a chance of communicating, sharing videos, and interact with each other. In a simple words, virtual classrooms is a unique learning facility available to learners because of multimedia technology. It is constructed using software and available via the internet. In addition words, it is a video conferencing tool where instructors and the participants engage with each other and with the learning material. Biomedical Machine 
Biomedical Equipment Technology is a profession that requires broad knowledge of biomedical system instrumentations. Actually, biomedical machines is a necessary knowledge includes system usage, maintenance responsibilities, and ways to obtain data on an extensive range of monitoring, such as diagnostic, therapeutic, and surgical instrumentations. A biomedical equipment technologist must study electronics, electronics management, medical sociology, and computer applications. Solar energy panels. Solar power is energy from the sun that is converted into thermal or electrical energy. As well, solar energy is the cleanest and most abundant renewable energy source available, especially in those people who are not using uh, electricity. So solar energy is so very affol- available to them. This energy is a variety of uses including generating electricity, providing lights or a comfortable interior environment, and also an industrial use. National Integrated Basic Research Agenda or NIBRA 2017-2022 Malasakit Program or Reduce Inequality Malasakit Program is focuses on the water security, watershed studies, water quality, accessibility, and availability, food safety, Biodiversity studies, health sufficiency, fundamental studies on potential source of natural product, social dimension on health, basic veterinary studies, kaunlaran program or expanding growth potential. Kaunlaran program is focuses on clean energy, alternative energy, sustainable communities, vulnerable ecosystem, data analytics of natural phenomena, environment and anthropogenic activities, pagbabago program or enhancing the social fabric. Pagbabago program is focuses on the exclusive nation building Data collection on social phenomena, documentation of indigenous knowledge, education, national security and sovereignty, arts, history, and culture. To express support in the Philippine Development Plan, National Security Plan, and the Science for Change program lead by DOSD, the NIBRA focuses focus on basic principle of research and has six programs namely number one water security or too big program too big ay buhayin at ingatan number two food nutrition security or sapat program sa ganang pagkain para sa lahat. Number three, health sufficiency or likas program. Likas yaman sa kalusugan. Number four, clean energy or alert program. Alternative energy research trends. Number five, sustainable community or saklaw program. Saklolo sa lawa. Number six, in- inclusive nation building or ATIN program ang tinig natin the philippine science and technology agenda and development programs science and technology plays an integral part in human development and the society science and technology also breaks ignorance increase perception and ability to use resources and creativity to improve the quality of life and sustainable environment. By significant changes that happens in the society about science and in each technology, but the question is, what has happened in the Philippine settings? So, let's see. 
the Harmonized National Research and Development Agenda or HNRDA was prepared by the Department of Science and Technology or DOST in collaboration with the government and other private agency to make certain that all of the science and technology endeavors are directed towards the realization of economic and social benefits of mankind. The Harmonized National Research and Development Agenda or HNRDA was prepared by the Department of Science and Technology or DOST in collaboration with the government and other private agency to make certain that all of the science and technology endeavors are directed towards the realization of economic and social benefits of mankind. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching on our video. I hope you learned something on our topic that we discussed today. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!